So today I'm going to do some rust dyeing. Um, and I was going to take you along um, and show you how I do um, simple and quick um, surface pattern design with some different uh, rusty materials. So this um, recipe, I just use vinegar and I'm, I'm working in a pan, um, a cookie sheet, any kind of shallow pan. Um, and this is what will happen. I just wanted to show you that. I have rusty nails and um, screws and some interesting shapes and patterns. I have some round pieces of, this was like a paint lid or some kind of can. So gather some, some rust. If you don't have access to rusted materials, uh, something that I found works really good is steel wool and staples. So these were done with staples. Um, and the, the neat thing about staples is you can get a really cool pattern. Um, let me pull a few of these out. So you'll get that uh, print, the rust print um, on your on your piece and it's really neat. So those are really fun to work with. I do that a lot. And I love having these pieces as we build our artist books. But what I'm gonna show you today is how I layer my things and then just kind of set them aside. You can do a lot this way and you can layer in different pieces of materials. Um, that also helps with the um, variation in what you get. So I just grabbed out um, a bunch of materials out of my stash. Uh, you must use um, like cotton or linen. This does not work well with like polyester fabrics. The, um, no kind of dyeing does. So anything with cotton, cheap muslin, uh, muslin cheesecloth. I had some um, pieces that I had previously dyed that have some rust printed, but I wanted to uh, further further them. Gloves are good too if you're working with sharp um, materials. I have this really cool piece of old ceiling tin that I like to use and layer in there. Um, so I usually have a pair of gloves because it is really sharp and you don't want to cut yourself. Um, but just be careful as you go. So the other thing that's really fun and cool to do with surface pattern rust design is to use nails and um, pins and safety pins. You can buy like a whole um, box of nails at the dollar store that work really well to do this with. So these were previously rusted, um, so they're a little harder to puncture through. And I'm actually doing this on a, a piece of plaster um, linen that I plastered. I wanted to see how that would turn out with the rust print on it. So, you know, experiment with some, some pieces that you have. So I'm gonna go through, I mean, and, and um, load all of these up. I wanted to show you um, how I, how I staple. So this is just, this is an old, um, stapler and just cheap, inexpensive staples. And I'll go in and just kind of make a repetitive pattern. But you, I like the organic feel of it, so I don't want it super um, perfect. I like when it gets off a little bit. You know, and play around with different ones that, you know, that's a little harder on my hands. So I'm going to switch over to different. So I'm just going to play with uh, some of these smaller pieces.
Um, another thing to do is with like some of your thinner cloth, you can um, crumple it up and use the stapler between. Kind of get that uh, lacy effect. I like to do that so it double layers it up. This is another one of those techniques that you just don't really you want to try as many different things as you can. Don't get stuck experiment. This is very So another thing too that you can use is just uh, fresh pins. They're a little easier to uh, get through the plaster. And for sake of time today, I'm, I w I'll just do um, some smaller pieces but I do, when I do this, I like to work like with this size um, and really go edge to edge. But I kind of want to show you quickly how fast this goes. So there's my first three. Let's do another um, just like white fabric a good piece a thinner piece of muslin and for that I'm gonna use some of the still wool this um, when you pull this apart it does kind of billow up some fibers so just be aware of that and I just like to do it straight onto the fabric And depending on the gauge or the, the how fine um, of still wool you get will we'll make a difference um, with your pattern. So on these, I think they're really neat because you can sculpt them into um, circles or you know dots or. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm kind of working with the theme of vessels or nests. And so that goes really well with that theme. So I'm going to just take a little extra care to kind of make some spaces between steel wool is one of my favorites to work with. You can just really do multiple techniques with it. Okay, so I'm going to start with that first layer. And I ended up putting my vinegar in a spray bottle. You can also just use a brush um, or you could pour directly on this. You just want to saturate your pieces really well to get that rust starting. So um, another thing that you can do um, is like add some rusty pieces in between. So 
So I have the um, staples, and then I'm gonna add some rusty nails to this also. So on the steel wool, you do want to um, press that down a little bit once everything is real saturated. I like to put um, another another piece on top of that, maybe of a thicker fabric. Um, and then we can weigh down a little bit. You know, and try layering them and this piece also, which will be really cool. So nice and saturated. You want to keep this uh, moist. You don't want um, to let it dry out too much while this process is happening. And I think I'm going to weigh my pieces down with some of these heavier. Now I've done this a lot of different ways. Um, you can also roll the steel wool inside. I, I wanted to see how a uh, print um, would, would, would go, would make a little cleaner print if I just left it flat. So that's why I did that. And so to weigh this down, I'm going to use um, this. Just adds the extra rust. And I'm gonna get a little bit of a print there. But think about this as like a lasagna. You're gonna just layer um, lots of stuff on top of each other. So on, on top of this, um, I, will, I will add some books. You know, just to keep everything nice and in uh, contact with the fabric. So this this uh, technique does start rusting fairly quickly. I would say give it about um, an hour and you can check on it and see if anything's developing, if you need to add more vinegar. Um, and then I'll come back and show you what starts happening um, in a few. Okay, well, let's see what our uh, rest prints did. So I um, layered books on top of, of this to hold it down. So I put some extra fabric. So that's kind of cool. It just leaves a print too. So that's something I can reprint or keep as is. So these are ones that I clipped with some rusty clips. And so it's been about three hours. Um, so this had a long time to develop. But this is one of the first really simple pieces that were just clipped together with three clips. And this piece turned out was the um, piece that was laying under that. So that turned an interesting black color. And that's really one thing about um, rust that's interesting is that you'll get a lot of variations with um, colors anywhere from gray to black to red, um, oranges. So it's really fun to get. It depends on the fabric and what it's been treated with. So I got some really good prints. So this was the um, pieces of steel wool. And you they still have a lot of 
rust. You can see the rust that formed in them. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, just smash that down so that it prints all of those little pieces that, yeah, so get more, more of that rust and it'll continue to develop. So if you want to stop the development, um, you do a salt water bath um, and that will stop the rusting from happening. It's a really cool one too. And these will dry and they'll can continue to develop and change and it's really neat print. So these aren't um, developing as quickly as I would have liked. And you can see like the newer stuff does take a little bit longer um, to oxidize. So the staples are still, still um, oxidizing and rusting. So I'll probably leave um, these three things to keep to keep going. I'll probably add some more um, vinegar to this, and maybe a little heavier bit of material. In fact, I think I'll just go ahead and lay this piece on here. Because I want those to be real prominent and they're not just quite developed all the way. I don't think it was um, like the, it wasn't pressed down enough. So go ahead and put this back on here. And I'm going to put something a little heavier and keep keep going on that. But we got some really neat prints and for just a quick um, project, I have tons to work with here. And I love this. This reminds me of nests or uh, little vessels or uh, circles, infinity signs. So I really love how that turned out and I hope the other ones will Will continue to develop so you can use these multiple times and I will probably do another stack this um, evening to keep going but yeah that's a really easy way to get some great um, rust prints and you see they're all so different and the variations are are really really fun so I'm noticing as I'm going through to the, the staples are just taking longer and that's, that's okay. We'll just keep, keep adding um, vinegar when needed and we'll just see how those work.